Hello and welcome to AT's Success Mantra. Well guys, we are going to discuss the career options for PCB students uh, who, are, uh, who have taken physics, chemistry and biology in their 12th class. And uh, we hope that after watching this video, you might be able to make up your mind and uh, you could definitely go into any of the fields that we mentioned in this video. So for PCB student, the first and the foremost thing that comes in your mind is being a doctor, an MBBS doctor. There are many kinds of doctors, but you want to be an MBBS doctor. But obviously, everyone wants to do that. For this, you all know that you need to give uh, your exam NEET, NEET, which, uh, which is a common entrance test for all the medical colleges that are available in our country for uh, MBBS courses. Now the point is that it's not possible for everyone to get into NEET. Some of you or some of, uh, there are many people who are uh, trying it for past one year, two year, three years, four years and still they have not been able to uh, get through the different various medical examinations. You have also some other people who have given it and cleared it in the first attempt. So it might be uh, easy for you, it might be difficult for you, but it's not the end of your careers. It's not only the one thing that you can do if you take bio. Some of you might have taken bio just because you were afraid of mathematics. But that doesn't mean that you wanted to be a doctor, specifically. You just didn't want to study maths, that's why you took bio. It might be the case with you also. So, today what we are going to give you is what other options are available for you apart from just being an MBBS doctor. Okay, so uh, as I said earlier that the best option and the, uh, the most appreciated or you can say the most like uh, favorable outcome for you will be to clear out NEET and we wish you all the best that you clear out NEET and you become an MBBS doctor from uh, wherever you want to be. And uh, if you want you can also give an examination of AFMC that is uh, the Army Medical Field. In army also there is a huge need of, in defense forces, there is a huge need of medical doctors. Those doctors are selected by an exam AFMC which is being conducted by uh, UBSC. And this exam uh, you need to qualify and then you need to go and attend uh, the further process and you get through it. So if you are selected into that, you will be a defense doctor. If you are uh, selected into NEET, you can be a professional doctor, a private doctor, a government doctor, wherever you want to be, after studying obviously for 5-7 years, whatever the time period uh, is of the courses. But there are many other options that you can do. If you think that you want to go with something else rather than being a doctor, or you can say rather than going for NEET, which is uh, quite difficult for many of the students. So you have one big option that is uh, to go for BAMS. Now what is BAMS? BAMS is Ayurvedic doctors. The course will make you an Ayurvedic doctor. Now you will think that okay Ayurved it's so boring, I mean nobody uh, cares about Ay Ayurved these days, I mean I don't know why would I become that. Trust me that there are many Ayurvedic doctors who are in huge demand in foreign countries, not only, not only in India. Now the trend is changing, the, the entire medical industry or you can say it is trying to shift towards Ayurvedic medicines because the allopathic medicines that they are running is actually causing a lot of side effects and a lot of problems but Ayurvedic medicines are considered to be you know uh, less uh, side, with less side effects. So people are trying to follow Ayurveda and uh, moreover in Ayurveda there is a huge, huge potential huge potential because the Ayurvedic medicines are straight away taken up from nature. They don't need any kind of synthesis. So the course is actually uh, taking a very uh, craze these days. It's, it's very uh, popular. Moreover, you can also go with homeopathic medicines. Homeopathic medicines are also very popular in uh, our country as well as in outside foreign countries and there are many such diseases which are only cured with homeopathic, disease, uh, homeopathic medicines. So being a homeopathic doctor or being an Ayurvedic doctor is not a thing to be ashamed of. Even if you didn't clear need but you wanted to be a doctor, you can go and have these kind of degrees with you. And now the government has also allowed the Ayurvedic doctors to practice English, medici English medicines or you can say the uh, allopathic medicines. So they are, there is an option for you also that you can start practicing with the uh, allopathic medicines and you can uh, prescribe those kind of medicines also. So 
BMS and BHMS. These two are the courses that you need to do for becoming Ayurvedic doctors and homeopathic doctors respectively. Other than this, you can be a veterinary doctor. Now what are veterinary doctors? The doctors who look after animals, pets. There is a huge demand of uh, vet doctors these days because there is a, a big shortage of them in government as well. Along with that, there is uh, uh, you know the culture, the pet culture that uh, in our country has grown a lot. There are so many people who are uh, keeping pets and they all need uh, they they all keep very good care of it. So if they are taking very good care of it, they will need veterinary doctors to provide them with that. In uh, big cities also you will go and find that there are very few veterinary doctors that are uh, working. So this is also a very uh, blooming career and you can go and become a veterinary doctor and it, it can help you in a lot of ways if you want to be uh, a veterinary doctor. If you have uh, love for pets, you can definitely go with that. Moreover, the, this was all about being uh, doctors in which you can uh, use your skills or your passion or your uh, interest which you had in your class 12 and apply it for your better future. Moreover, you can also uh, you can also get into agriculture sciences. Now, why I'm saying agriculture sciences is because if you have taken bio in your 12th exam in your 12th class, you are eligible for going so, uh, for soil sciences for uh, other agriculture related activities like uh, crops, uh, there is fertilizers and in all those places there is a huge demand of uh, people who have uh, worked in agriculture sciences. Now there is an option of doing graduation, post graduation, PhD from agriculture sciences and you can uh, get into a lot of big fertilizer companies, there is a huge potential in government industries because India is still, India is still a nation which depends wholly on the agriculture and there is still in the villages there is a huge demand of uh, you know agricultural researchers. You can be a scholar, you can be a researcher, you can be a teacher and there is huge potential of it as well. Uh, other than that you can also be a dental scientist or you know uh, the people who do BDS and MDS. So you can be a dentist. The dentists are also uh, earning a lot. There is a huge uh, margin for them in, in the industry. Uh, the market is full of potential because you know the health sector in whatever form it is it is giving lot of money and it's never gonna end there, there is no threat that you will not find a job you will not be able to uh, practice you won't be able to make money from it because you can definitely make money along with helping lot of people so this is why you know health sector becomes so uh, popular and important for uh, every country moving on now these were the things that still need lot of time. They need uh, courses. The courses are of five years, five and a half years, six years to be, you know, become that. To become a vet doctor, to become a dentist, to become a uh, Ayurvedic doctor or a homeopathic doctor. Or obviously to do an MBBS also it needs five and five or six years. So if you don't have that much time, you think that okay, fine, this I cannot do that much. I cannot study that much. It's very um, difficult for me, or it's very uh, you know boring for me. Then you can go on and choose such careers like pharmacy. There is a bachelor's degree in pharmacy in which you get to know about medicines. There is a lot of uh, ointments and everything that you need to learn about. And after doing a course of pharmacy, you can go and get a job into any kind of hospitals uh, easily. You can also open up your own medical shops or you can uh, involve yourself into medi uh, medicine industry uh, easily if you have that pharmacy degree. Apart from this, not only pharmacy, there is there are courses and diplomas that give you authority to conduct pathological tests like the people who have uh, x-ray labs you know radiology department that you must have heard of so uh, the people who do x-ray, CT scan, MRI these are all lab technicians who actually uh, know about these kind of stuffs, the pathological stuffs they can uh, blood test, they can um, they can do all kind of tests that are required for any medical uh, practitioner or any patient so they have also got huge potential because uh, the industry, the medical industry is not only filled with doctors but they also need a huge amount of support staff. Apart from this, there is another career which is very good for you and which is uh, giving a lot of money as well as stability, job stability. It is nursing. You can be a nurse. You can be a nurse in hi-fi hospitals, you can be a nurse in low-grade low hospitals or you can be a nurse anywhere. You just need to do a bachelor in nursing. 
and you get to learn all the uh, basics of it and then you go and apply for it and you get the jobs. There is huge demand of nurses, there is huge shortage of nurses. So if you are thinking of uh, just going with meat and again trying again and again again and again for 5 years, 6 years, 8 years, then no you want to be a doctor only and you are failing again and again constantly. That's not going to do you any good because you are just wasting your time. So why not you just try, obviously, you, you should not leave it without trying, you should try. But there should be a time when you should realize that, okay, fine, I think now I should think of something else. And if you want, if you don't want to go with SSC or, you know, government preparing for government jobs only or banking sector as everyone does, you can definitely search and find your career into these. One more career option you have got left with and that career option is forensic science. If you have that, uh, if you have seen CID, you might have uh, uh, known Dr. Salunke, uh, and I guess he is still there in the show. So that Dr. Salunke is a forensic science expert. So if you are with bio and chemistry, you must have heard uh, read chemistry in your graduation also, if you are doing BSc. So if you have done BSc from bio and you want to go up and do forensic science, you are most welcome for it. There is again huge potential for the people who are doing forensic science and they have straight away chance of going into CBI, CID, IB, RAW, wherever they need forensic experts. Even in police departments, even in um, army areas, they also need forensic experts. So at the end, I would just like to say that please just don't latch on to something and just uh, stick with it like and be depressed like no you don't have anything else to do. Please, just get up and see that, okay, fine, the need is not the, uh, it was my primary goal, but if I cannot clear need, and if I'm not able to clear need in two or three attempts, now is the time to say, no, just, that's enough. I'll go and do something else. If you are related with bio and if you love bio and you want to make your career in biology only, there are many other sectors that you can do in. Just what we mentioned right now. So just don't only latch on to being a MBBS doctor only and if I am not an MBBS doctor then I will leave my studies or I will, not do, I will not do anything else. There is still huge potential of bio as a subject in all kind of fields. One more field I can point out and that is biotechnology. If you want to be related with technology along with your biology then you can take biotech and you can complete your B.Tech course in biotech from any of the colleges like IITs, NITs or even private colleges there are so many. So the biotech field is also there for you if you want to go with tech along with biology both. So from my side all the very best to you, hope that you select your career wisely and just uh, uh, do your best and give you 100% in whatever career you choose. So till then, take care, bye bye.